a man, a kite, and a key. Sounds like the setup to a legend, but did Benjamin Franklin truly discover electricity by flying a kite in a thunderstorm? To test this myth, the Mythbusters recreated the iconic scene. While they didn't know the exact size of Franklin's original kite, they followed historical descriptions. A cedar frame holding a silk handkerchief with a lightning rod on top and a key tied to the string. They used a thick, conductive string and made slight adjustments to the cedar design, building a mock house to simulate Franklin flying the kite from a window. Their test had three questions. Can the key hold a charge? Can sparks be generated? And most importantly, is it safe? They first flew the kite on a dry beach day, relying on natural static electricity in the air. Within minutes, they measured between between 3.8 to 10 kilovolts, but still no sparks. So they soaked the string to enhance conductivity, and though the voltage increased, there were still no visible sparks. Next, they took the kite indoors to a Van de Graaff generator to simulate a storm. Tiny harmless sparks appeared, but nothing near the lethal potential of a real lightning strike. For the final test, they built a ballistic dummy and took it to a high voltage lab. At 480,000 volts, dummy Ben experienced a massive jolt straight to the heart, instantly fatal. The myth may be iconic, but the real experiment would have ended in tragedy, not triumph.